saying that the t- the statistics for homelessness have changed mm-hmm. a lot. Yep. Uh, well. There's a lot of homeless children uh, in the U.S. Apparently, one out of thirty kids are homeless here, and that's a really, really big number. Uh, that's pretty much one out of each classroom in um, a public school. So that's a huge number, and when you think about you know kids being homeless and teenagers being homeless, it's a whole different spectrum because they're put into the situation by adults, and adults are the ones who are supposed to be taking care of them. So it's just really sad, and I guess the government should step in, and maybe we should even step in, like uh, just the people itself start a nonprofit, and make sure the kids are off the street, because I think once you're, you know, in that situation, you're probably going to be in that situation for a very long time, if not the rest of your life. But real estate is going up. Mm-hmm. Taxes are going up. Everything is going up. Right. Taxes are going but up. People but people aren't making any more money. People aren't making any more money. The rich are getting richer and you know, <laughs> I mean, the middle class so... is just there. <laughs> right. Paying more taxes. And for what? I'm not even sure at the moment. Yeah. So where do we stand as a generation? Because we're going to inherit all the debt, Yep. Um, not only our own student loans, <laughs> but loans if, if we do want to get a condo or get a house or anything, um, as well as the national debt. Right. I mean, thinking about it, I honestly don't think my generation is going to own anything, <laughs> ever. Wow. I mean, I look at me, I'm 22 years old, and my credit is so bad <laughs> thanks to student loans. Right. So, I mean, the chances of me owning anything is probably out of the question Mm -hmm. and when I look at my friends you know we're not going to own anything and uh, you know we're probably going to have to clean up the mess that the generation before us made and Mm -hmm. the worst part is they won't even take responsibility for it Uh, we're pretty much you know we're known as the lazy generation the one who is so self-absorbed yet I feel like we've progressed so far our generation compared to the other ones behind us yeah there's, I'm not going to do any political bashing kind of a thing, mm-hmm. but there's a political party mm-hmm. that just did a whole bunch of stuff to stop aid from families and, and stop a lot of assistance. And, you know, it's that whole mentality, you know, let's give breaks to the big companies and the mm-hmm. rich because they're going to invest and everything will trickle, trickle down to the poor people, which is ideology. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, it's kind of obvious. You know, but, ideally, but it that's work. how it works, but that's how it's supposed to work. But does it really know? It's been proven it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I think the reason that is is because when you do this whole, like, give the people at the top a break and the people at the bottom are going to have it, like they're right. going to get what they want, what happens to the people in the middle, which is – the people, like the majority of us, we're the people in the middle. What happens to us? We're the mm-hmm. one who gets screwed over. Right. We're the one who has to pay the high taxes, and we're the one who has to, I guess, pretty much, you know, deal with uh, paying all these taxes, having a huge chunk of our income taken out uh, mm-hmm. to help pay for these uh, lower income, I guess, housing or food stamps or whatever it is, and we're the ones who are getting screwed over. And from my understanding, and what I'm seeing and hearing, um, it's the middle class that are making it seem that um, things are moving forward because we have a lot more entrepreneurs. You have a mm-hmm. lot more people saying, look, I'm going to take control of my life. Yeah. I'm going to con- take control of my finances and I'm going to create more jobs. But they're not really getting the breaks. No, the middle class is not getting the breaks. Which... And, and the rich, you know, and the big, the big corporations. Uh huh. They're laying people off. Like I just heard this huge thing. Um, I don't want to say the wrong company, so I don't want to anyone come mm-hmm. hit me up, email like, why'd you say that about the company? But it's a huge company. Everybody knows. Mm-hmm. It's about to lay off another 300, 400 people. Right. And that's before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know, yeah, right before the holidays. I but... mean, it doesn't make sense. Another company, they're waiting till right after the holidays. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's... it's... Crazy. It's just a crappy situation all in all with like the whole middle class and the entrepreneurs. Uh, the reason I don't think they get a break is because they probably don't like the reason why big companies get breaks from the government is because they probably have connections within the political realm 
when you run for office, you need people who back you up to give you money. It costs millions of dollars to run a campaign, and those dollars don't come out of pocket from the politicians themselves. They come from somewhere, and they're coming from the big companies. So, you know, if I ran for office and you gave me, like, you know, we'll start a small number, you give me $10, you right. own me. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. so pretty much I'll do whatever you say. And mm -hmm. the middle class people haven't really gotten into the whole, you know, buying politicians. Right. and stuff right. yeah um well you know a lot of people that see that's the thing you need the time mm -hmm. the finances to sit there and even get into politics and i that's... know getting into politics like you know that's why i went to school i was gonna <laughs> get into politics right. and you know the more i wait i'm just like where am i gonna get all this money right. i'm gonna have to sell my soul to some company and they're gonna have to like believe in me right and you know, run my campaign. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm, but and then also people get caught up in this voting for the president thing. Mm hmm Which I believe I believe it's important. It is important. But it's 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 the local election. Yes, it's the local ones are the ones that matter. The presidential election, obviously it does matter, it's important, yeah. Please right. go vote. But for the local ones, that's your community. The president is not controlling what ha what is happening in your community. I remember the last Obama election. There's something that really struck out to me. I was online waiting to you know make a vote, and this one guy was complaining because the line was it was very disorganized. It was just it was a mess. We went in, there were lines everywhere. You didn't know what you were doing when right. you were like trying to vote. And he goes, "This is why Obama's not going to win. Look at the mess he created here." And I'm just like, "Do you really think Obama <laughs> has anything to do with how this little like community is running their voting section?" Right. No. Right. Like you should come and vote for like the people who actually like run your community, your district councils, your, you know, like your borough president or whatever. Like mm -hmm. they're the ones who are like controlling these little things, not right. the large like the larger president. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? It's this problem with the educational system mm -hmm. because that's something that they should stress in middle school. How does how does your world work? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, it's <laughs> and I say education. your world because it's it's your little world that's around you that right. You know, you you wait till college, and there's so many things that I don't know still at this point. Right. That it. It, and it is complicated. Even people in politics say, you know, it's really complicated. It is very complicated. I mean, yeah. I understand why, you know, it would be tough for a middle schooler to actually understand what is happening in the world of politics. But it's a but start. It is a start to yeah. pretty much, you know, let them know this is how our government works. Mm -hmm. This is what you should do to make sure that it runs efficiently. Because I think every person in the U.S. has a responsibility to make sure that our politicians and our government is running well and our local government not just you know our national government you heard it yep do the research mm -hmm. but get involved because i'm tired i no matter where i am i make sure that local you know there's one of the crooks i call him a crook <laughs> uh and and my little neck of the woods and i keep trying to vote Vote them out. <laughs> <laughs> Try, even though it's probably not going to happen because a lot of people are so attuned to I'm the Green Party, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm mm -hmm. that, I'm that. And then people get comfortable. I know. And I, they vote, they, they help who they want to help. Or they just vote for their party. I think the party, like the two-party thing we have mm -hmm. right now is a terrible idea. It's not working. It's clearly not working. You know, one year, you know, one like election you have a republican you realize oh wait republicans aren't working let's vote for democrats and it like switches back around and clearly it's not but, working but even that well see the switch back around is not too bad mm -hmm. the only problem is like you said is very unrealistic if they mm -hmm. don't like something going on well i'm blaming obama so now i'm going to vote republican yeah it and and, and we saw that mm -hmm. in, the, in the local as a big shift yep we did but, see that but the thing is, it's like, hold their people accountable. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, uh, I'm not telling anyone to be Republican or Democrat, but if you have a Republican or a Democrat and they're not helping and they're not listening and they're only helping who they want to help, which is what I see, vote for the other guy. Look, I'd rather vote for a party or someone else that I don't, you know, I, don't, I'm not, I might not be 100% into that party then stay voting just because, well, this is my party. I'm going to vote mm -hmm. for this person. Yeah. 
And what a lot of times is certain communities, certain politicians, they, they take for granted they're going to win. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to vote for me anyway. Right. Because I'm a this or mm -hmm. I'm a that. And, you know, they just uh, keep the corruption going and, you know, making sure that um, certain people, I'm trying not to throw it out there, <laughs> but certain people, you know, certain relatives and friends get hooked up right. and have certain positions, mm -hmm. for, you know, taxpayer money positions. It's got to stop. All right. Uh, with the whole two-party thing, it's like another thing that most people don't realize is that even though you could be a Democrat, you could be a conservative Democrat, you could be a really conservative Democrat, right. or you could be a Republican, you can be extremely liberal. So there's like, there's a whole nother, I guess, aspect of these parties where, you know, it's just not one picture. Like a Democrat can mean so many things just because, you know, you've decided you're a Democrat. Uh, doesn't mean that you don't believe in some conservative and that's why uh, we need more parties because We got to stop. Well, I'm kind of this and kind of that but I'm gonna go underneath this banner that doesn't really fit Who I am as a person or an individual? Mm -hmm. um, there was a, a Young group in London that um, Our generation I mean like the average person <laughs> is like ridiculously young mm -hmm. and They started their own party and now they're they're, they're at the table. They're at the table because there's so many of them. Um, I think that revolution could happen here. Could it? I think, I, I think it's possible, but I think people um, have to hit rock bottom and then they're not there yet. Do I think it's going to happen today? No. Four years from now, there's a better chance. You know, if we have another Bush era, then yeah. Like a, like a good eight-year spread, yeah. Because I think that we're... You know, a lot of us don't even vote mm -hmm. or don't care about politics at all. Yeah. Um, but we feel the heat. And it is gonna, there's going to be a breaking point. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a break. Because look at the, um, what was that big thing that everybody was behind uh, when people were like, uh, they were protesting and they were on the street? Uh, Occupy Wall Street. Occupy yeah. Wall Street. I... That came and went really fast, but it had potential. It had potential. Here's what I didn't completely understand about Occupy Wall 